guys, uh, that this is a hard occasion. It's one of those occasions that no one ever likes to have. But if, if you remember Bob well, his favorite word was yippee. <laughs> and he's happy today. He's with the Lord today. We had so many good times over the past couple of years, uh, Bob and I. Uh, I won't tell you all the stories. And as a matter of fact, I want to invite everybody to stay after the service and have lunch and tell all the stories you like. Because I know there's millions of them. But I'll tell you this, we, we were doing some work at my farm and we were running in and out of the house and I had a brand new chainsaw sitting on the porch. The only thing wrong with it is it had a leaf hanging out of it. And I was in the house and I was doing some things. I'd come out and Bob was on the porch and my chainsaw was torn into a million pieces. <laughs> and I looked at that and I was like, oh man, I'll never get it back together. So I just went on, we all kept working. I went in, I told Annie, he's tearing my chainsaw apart. <laughs> and about an hour later, I come outside and he said, Brother Bert, I got it all back together, but I forgot how to start it. Can you help me start this chainsaw? So I started it, it fired right off. I couldn't believe it. But we had some amazing times. At the age of 80, he taught me how to play skip bow. <laughs> and I played more skip bow than half the world. <laughs> Amen. And I can tell you, I'll never look at a water bottle the same again. Every time I see one, I'll know it's worth 10 cents an organ. <laughs> I mean, ever since his passing to glory, all I can think about are all those sweet moments and the, just his preciousness around the house of God. Brother Cody sent me a text and he said, boy, I'm sure gonna miss his laughter and his howdy hello when I come to church. But it's good to be here. I'm honored to be here for Bob and <coughs> It's amazing because last Christmas, uh, not this last Christmas, but 2017 Christmas, uh, Bob officiated my wedding with Ann, and now I'm officiating his going home. Mm -hmm. And he was just a very special person. I don't have to tell you that. He will be missed, amen. amen. But he is, he is with the Lord. His, Faith has become sight. He's experiencing all the glory that Christians dream about and that Christ, Christians live and serve God for. And we're going to be there soon someday ourselves and we can say howdy when we get home. So let's open today in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for the life of Brother Bob. What a testimony he had. How often he praised you and how often he witnessed about Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. And Lord, we don't meet very many people that don't meet strangers, but Bob was one of those people. And Father, we know he's in good care. We ask you today to be with Annie, be with the church body, be with his family and his friends. Father, give us comfort in knowing that Bob is with you and he is up there bothering and irritating everybody. <laughs> and Lord, we love you. We thank you for all you do. Bless now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 